out of my sleep because I'm hearing y'all in there arguing. You and Zora going at it. Man, this that little some, girl. This some <laughs> it's teenage now, girl. Yeah, I know. I know. So, so for the people who don't know, you are the son of a pastor. Yes, sir. The only son. The only son of a pastor. You have a daughter and a son. But your daughter is a teenager. <laughs> is she? And boy, is she rough. She thinks she know everything. What they say on? Yeah, yeah. Did, even did, when they grown. Yeah. They like did we think we knew everything when we were teenagers? Never. I don't think I did even. Never. I think I thought I knew a little bit. I was bit. so obedient. <laughs> I know I was good. I was a good kid. You were? But you know okay. what's funny? Okay. In real life, I had a little phase where I was a little thief. Really? Real talk, hands down. Being totally transparent. Uh, so that's what's interesting about this. It's like we can sometimes be so afraid. Yeah. Not only for our children, but even you know, uh, <laughs> some people are afraid of their children. Right. But you know, it's really difficult to just see that you know what? Hey, this is just a phase. Yeah. Right. Because uh, for me, that's all it was. Yeah. But what was that? What was that about? Right. Sometimes is the more interesting question. Without trying to psychoanalyze or overanalyze anything, yeah. that behavior is coming from something or somewhere. And sometimes not for her. It's just a matter of it's because of something she wants and right. and she can't get it. You know. Mm -hmm. um, so, but whatever it is, like some of us, you just kind of you get over it. Like right. I, like I'm not doing that no more. That's right. I know better. That's the thing. So at some point, she'll know better. And right. she may even know better right now. But because of whatever else is going with her, mm -hmm. on with her, uh, the rebellion, right. the whatever her needs are, whatever her insecurity is, even whatever her, sometimes this is also a reflection of this really strong, you know, in, innate desire to, to, to be your own person. Right. You know that's coming through our young people that this isn't so it's not something that you squelch and that you kick down right and you try to kill you just have to be very careful about as adults how and parents how you shape right. that energy but unfortunately children because yeah. they're young they misplace it they misdirect that power and that um you know what those 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 really incredible instincts and intuitions are they put it in the wrong place sometimes. Right yeah yeah so Ooh. that in, in addition to what her weaknesses mm -hmm. and vulnerabilities and these other things are that are maybe somewhat deficient in her yeah. um, these are the things that she got to work out and right. we got to try to help her work it out but some of this stuff like I said it, you, we get through mm -hmm. eventually over time with no problem and there's some stuff when you see it a hey, if you better be careful because right. that might not be going right. nowhere. Yeah, you, you know, it might be a problem a for a person, long right? time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's it's difficult to know exactly how to respond. Now, you know? now it's real life, man. Right. It is real life. So on the show, you guys tackle a lot of of important issues. Yeah. Like the issue with one of the issues with Zora is uh, abuse. She yes. has a boyfriend that's uh, that's yes. hitting on her. Um, and emotionally abusive. And emotionally abusive. Yeah. Um, you, you you deal with the issue of infidelity with with your father on the show. Yeah. And and your mom on the show. Yeah. And uh, right. my wife and I have gone and, through it and too. Your wife, and then the whole um, Pastor uh, Skanky, Bishop Skanky. Yeah, yep. we had That whole thing with him and, yep. and him with the money in his yep. church and you and your dad. I mean, there's a lot. Yep. You, you you guys hit it all. This yeah. is like a. My, all my mom's is issues so and, yeah. you know, and her family issues and stuff with her parents and her brother and her sister. Her sister, I mean, Oprah. Like, yeah, yeah. Every single person. You yeah. know, my niece. And, you know, right? Yeah, my that's sister right. Grace's daughter yeah. and her father and the whole right, gay issue in church. And, and my younger sister, and, yeah. right? And that, yeah. like, it's like, so everybody. And my sister who's gone, because mm -hmm. remember the show starts that's right. from Jump Street with faith being lost. Right. Pun intended. Right, right. Yeah. Right? I got you. I so got you. it's like, so all of this stuff is happening. So, yeah, whether it's suicide, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, uh, rape and incest and molestation and all these things that are happening in real life with real families so mm -hmm. that's really the point of this show is this is just a regular family of regular people right you know so everybody should see themselves in this show because this is you we are you and you have the capacity to be us good and bad right. and we are you good and bad it just so happens that we're also these remarkable people who are brilliant smart beautiful attractive successful loving you know like all these really dynamic things and that's what people want to see too but then the other thing is what people also want to see is the fact that these people are flawed they're broken they're confused they've been in pain they're traumatized i mean you know and this is generational stuff too that families often deal with and until you really 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 deal with it it doesn't go anywhere so you're seeing behavior abusive behavior in my child 
mm. that actually is a reflection of abusive behavior that goes back two, three generations before me. You know, so it doesn't go away. It doesn't disappear. The deficiencies and the great grandparents, mm -hmm. if they don't get healed and dealt with, dealt with, they manifest themselves in the deficiencies and the great great grandchildren. Okay. So you know, I believe, uh, even with all due respect, I believe that Jacob and Carissa mm -hmm. actually have had uh, abusive stints in their marriage and in their relationship. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that, in my opinion, and what I've tried to help create, is that we see that. The man is not the abuser, he's more the abusee. His wife is actually abusive to him. Wow. And funny okay. enough, most people don't even see it that way, which wow. is part of the problem. Okay. We only often see that abuse going in the other direction. Right. So there's even some sexism when it comes to identifying what abuse is and what it looks mm -hmm. like. But that little girl is actually her father's child. Right. Right? Naturally, it's her mother's child too, but she's very similar to him. Mm -hmm. You know, the pressure that she's been under all her life under these really successful powerful you know parents that have this really strong identity as a girl she's under pressure especially mm -hmm. from her mother just like as a boy I'm under heavy pressure from my father right and that's some oft times what the dynamic is so in my opinion what I see a lot going on with Zora is very much what Jacob mm -hmm. is and has been going through throughout his life yeah. so similarly we ain't really dealt with that <laughs> and here it is manifesting yeah, itself in my child yeah man so let's